Hey everyone, and welcome to a show I like to call The Examiners. I'm Mega Max 7, leader of The Examiners, and this here is my sister Jayla. Hey. The designer of The Examiners. Um, the designer? Um, no, we did not agree on that. Um, yes, we did. Um, no, we did not. As we did in your contract on paragraph B. Contract? What contract? I don't see one. Nope. Lucky for me, we've got more. excuse me. Anyway, um, over there is our friend Robomech. He is our editor slash recorder slash mechanic of the examiners. The point of the examiners is to review um, video games, movies, TV shows, Music, comics, and Joe will do the part with the books. So anyway, let's go to the game. X-Men, the arcade game. So the story is that Magneto took control of the Sentinels, and now is trying to destroy all the humans, the usual stuff in the X-Men series. Them blowing stuff up. All that jazz. When we see Magneto, um, Magneto, then Professor X tells the X-Men to go and take that crud out. Cut that stuff out. Well, you have so many lives, bro. Well, that's because I'm using an emulator. Sadly, I have to. Because, one, it's an arcade game. Two, we don't have a box. So, I started as Wolverine, because, well, it's Wolverine, and he's freaking awesome. Those are pretty dope. So you're fun. So the first stage, you're fighting Sentinels. Just send Sentinels, upgrade Sentinels with bazookas into a, into the wasted city. It's a simple attack button. There's an, your, your attack button. Your retract. Well, we're in retractable buttons. Special attack and jump button. Just like the usual arcade game. Send them. Your lives are unlimited as much coins you have, but if you're using an emulator like me, you have on you can get yourself unlimited lives unless it has a max amount of lives. The presentation, the graphics at the time, were actually pretty good. There, all the sentinels look nice. The explosions, even Wolverine's claws, I actually like. Even these two looking guys. I think it's a nice match with the colors. Yeah, I agree, Jill. Trip to art class. Contrasting colors go well with each other. Boom! I just, well, I don't get it, but good enough. You just survived art school. You, you can get your GED. So here's the first pop. Pyro. Didn't really expect Pyro to be the first boss. He looks like a flash on acid. Well, that's not him. That Pyro is a guy who uses flames... But uh, instead, of, but he can manipulate them. He only gets the flames. That's it's, it's just authentic. He, only, he manipulates the flames. He can't make flames. Mm. So he's like Percy Jackson. Yeah. So yeah, technically he's kind of Percy Jackson. Or like a waterbender. Waterbenders could make their own. Thing. Like this video if you watch Avatar. Who can play as Cyclops? Who he was? Who uses punches, kicks, and also mostly the same as a Wolverine, except he can use his laser eyes. Also, is Cyclops who is who is more of a power hitter, is much more powerful, and his special attack is using his metal explosion. Wherever that happened in the comics. You can also play a storm who you, who uses this baton thing. My God, storm has gained a little bit of few pounds than how she did in the original. She can use the po she can use tornadoes, which is the power of weather, which is her immune power. Next up is Nightcrawler, who's well, Nightcrawler. He uses the same abilities, all of that jazz, and also, but this time he can attack using his teleportation abilities. 
And finally, Dazzler, the pop superstar who became a mute, who became joined the X Men. Of course, she uses the same moves. She just slaps the enemy. She slaps the enemy and kicks them. Her special power is using the bit. Is using that power is to throw down a beam and explode and it explodes. It's like a bomb. Not, yeah, and another thing about her ability about special moves is that they take away your health. So your health bar. So be careful. Here's the second stage. You're in this building or outside the building. I don't really know. There's no cutscene for this part. It's action and dash. I don't know what those blue, those blue things are. They're probably those something. Probably something, I don't know. Yeah. I hate that, it's like a double, I hate that. That's one thing I hate in Double Dragon, is that you're getting grouped up and you're still getting hit. Then you lose a life. Regular than our other regular than Double Dragon. So the boss is a fat Viking. It's also known as Blob. Oh, it's Blob! Yeah, that's Blob. This this was the day when he wasn't the bad guy. I mean, the good guy. He was the bad guy. Wow. All he does is punch you. He doesn't even put the ow. Wow. Wow. Okay, ow. Okay, ow. You won. You won that. You won that round. But I will get you this time. But Wolverine Claws. Wolverine Claws. And Wolverine Claws. The blob's a little bit tough, especially when you use that special attack, which is kind of. Oh, it's kind of bold. I hate them. Professor X and Jean have been captured and sent to this island. So now the X Men take the Blackbird and go take go take off and go do their thing. The next, the next stage is this weird. It's this weird uh, forest stage on the island. And I'm actually going to get started off by getting killed and by a bunch of teal sentinels, which I can take down easily because I'm Wolverine. Yeah. We can just cut so, this part out. So here's the classic scene. He says, X Men, welcome to die. Huh. What the heck are these things? Weird sea serpents? I don't know what the heck these things are. Whatever they are, I don't want to be them. And here's the boss of the stage. I don't know who he is. I actually don't know who this guy is. The cave. That's probably a good title. The cave. It doesn't really sound silly and I catch you at all. Man, I hate these crocodiles. Alligators. I hate those guys. Then we got these new sandals that actually have the color of Wolverine, but much brighter. I never understand that. Man, how many Sentinels did Magneto make? There are about a billion of these guys. So many guys that I don't even think Wolverine can take them. Sure, so they wouldn't take them in Days of Future's past. Okay, are you ready? Yes! The, the next boss is an Iron Sentinel, is what's called. It's supposed to be more, I think it's supposed to be more powerful. And all I'm doing is spamming. Getting punched in the face. Huh. That wasn't too hard. But it's outside the caves now. Oh, now we get green sentinels. <laughs> trying to protect, trying to protect the planet or something. Or are they? Those guys just fall to their tomb. Jesus! I didn't even get to kill them. Ain't that a shame? Now. Here is the mini boss. Um, it's Emma Frost. I thought, second there, I thought it was the boss. Now, all she's doing is she's beating me up, and I don't allow that. Take this, Emma. Now, the, the boss of this is the Juggernaut. 
And a viral. And of and of course, because it's ninja meets CrossFit trainer meets The Rock meets a white dude as The Rock. Bam. Analogies. Yeah. And so he's kicking my butt, of course, because he's the juggernaut. But he cannot beat the power of Wolverine. Wait, did I just take off his helmet? Is he a ginger? <laughs> yeah, it looks like yeah, yeah, he's, he's a ginger. ginger. It's gonna take your soul. So, this is actually a trap. We get saved from Mr. X, Professor X, but instead it's a trick by Mystique. Now you're stuck here. Next stage is called the trap because, well, it's a tr well, it's a trap. No, the recording. Oh, I. Uh, the, <laughs> the, bo the bosses are these uh, stone statues. Stone statues. I don't understand it. How can? Why am I up against stone statues even though one looks mechanical? We get a speech from Professor X saying something. Now they're following a sentinel to outer space. Into the final stage of the game, the Magneto's base with golden sentinels. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. Ah, I'm keeping a hand Can up. I just do the final battle? Obviously, with Magneto, since he's the one who started all this. This boss fight could be easy if you can kind of cheat with this end, since you have an end alert. Or, you could just make this really difficult. All he keeps doing is punching me in the face. Yeah, it happens to me. I get bad. I have something called bad luck for fighting games, where I always lose every single fighting game, except when I get a power buff. But turns out, it's not Magneto. It's actually Mystique. And after that, we can save Professor X. And then we go to the final, final stage. It's the final battle. Magneto. It's the true final battle. Where everything gets serious. No turning back. No way to end. This is how it's gonna end. After he hits you and make you lose a life, all he does is laugh at you. Like a freaking joker. Nothing else victory. See? He does that every time. Which is why I just trolled him by using my powerful attack. Yeah, I may take damage, but I don't care. I'm that awesome. So McNeil's defeated. His entire thing blows the heck up. Gee, and we fly away on the blackbird. With the exploded island away. Wait, I'm pretty sure we left him. Magneto is defeated. X Men successfully to rescue Professor and return to Earth with the victory. But still, the battle against the threats the evil, and I didn't even get to read it. No, no, the game is not over yet. Why not? And then the credits show the comic. It is actually pretty cool. Showing the comic. And all the characters and their special. And I actually like this. Overall, I thought the game was actually pretty good. I like the boss battles, the characters, and I also like the level design. What did you think, Joe? Overall, I thought it was a good game, because I'm not really the type of arcade person. I'm more of an indie game person, kind of an FPS person, but I suck at those, so yeah... But with that, we give the rating of five stars. And that's all the time we have. Next we'll week, we'll be reviewing Jurassic Park. The movie. <laughs> see you later. Like and subscribe.